Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with Parker AC650 650 drive. We're going to run the drive today in remote, uh, remote mode with 2 wire control, 3 wire control and also going to be using a potentiometer and go through some parameters as well. And uh, if you haven't seen the last video where we uh, commissioned the drive and set the drive in a local run, that video is going to be in the description below. Also with all the related videos and part numbers and manuals and links that I believe that would uh, assist you in any way that will be also in the description below and as always before we get started if you guys are looking for any industrial parts do check out our ebay page or our website and if you can't find what you're looking for ping us a message and i'm sure we'll be able to help you out and also if you are looking to sell industrial parts definitely get in touch with us and there's a couple of ways you could do that you can go through our again through our ebay page or our uh, website and also i'm very active on linkedin so uh, you are able to get, get in touch with me through there and i will leave the page link in the in the description below as well and without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and the first uh, uh, thing we're going to be testing it is a two-wire control, and as you can see, I've already done all the wiring. Uh, we've got our uh, uh, potentiometer wired in. Again, it's the Siemens as always. I like I like them a lot. And uh, uh, we have a this kind of station this time. I started. I thought I'm going to throw in a. Uh, so basically selector switches one of them for run another one for selecting direction so you can still add the jog buttons things like that but in the upcoming videos i'll be making a uh, full station so it demonstrate how you could uh, sort of play with different types of stations so the wiring is really straightforward for this drive it doesn't have any trip uh, system into this one so we can't send the drive into error as we would usually do so we are sort of going very basic way and uh well not, not necessarily uh, compliant with the safety measures but at least if you are not going this route where I have my uh, e-stop separately disconnecting the power from the um, from the motor uh, this kind of system again there's a video for it as well in the description below if you want to check how I done that so at least minimum go this way with the e-stop so you can at least smack it and uh, quickly stop the drive as well as quick as you as quick as, quick as your deacceleration allows it to but it's quite simple the the source wire in here is a six six is the six is the uh, one that uh, outputs 24 volts and uh, 24 volts uh, comes to yeah comes to the back of the e-stop goes to the e-stop and also the e-stop supplies the uh, power to uh, other contacts and then from there on the selector switch uh, goes normally up on contact going to uh, the, uh, my uh, start signal will be in uh, terminal 7 and uh, directional signal is going to be in terminal 8 and I haven't said that uh, before we get cracking to show how that works there is a very, very this, this drive is unique to other ones I have worked before and it's sort of yes you can play, up, uh, play around a little bit with uh, setting up your uh, inputs and outputs but uh, Parker has created a thing called applications, macros, or right, whichever way you want to call it. And you sort of you just select, if you go into menu, and you go into parameters, the first parameter here is going to be um, where you select what application you're going to be doing. The first one you're obviously going to be working on is this sort of application. We'll work, we will work with this application. It sort of gives you like sort of even illustration, what can you use this for and things like that. It's pretty cool. So, and then and all the wiring diagrams is all in there. So, uh, and it tells you what uh, uh, standard parameters, which ones uh, you can play with and adjust things. It's been made for the fine tuning and things like that. So, yeah, you can, uh, it's just sort of, it works on the basis of uh, applications. So, bear that in mind. So, uh, we'll be working on a couple of applications, but it's, it is quite straightforward. You literally can't go wrong. Right, the first one again, we selected the application one. And pretty much from there on we are going to be going so uh let's exit that one and now again to go from uh oh yeah and potentiometer potentiometer i got uh on the siemens on the on the not on the back in here on the sides in here not sure you can you'll be able to see it because it doesn't like to zoom things i got one two and three designated with the uh, screw screw terminals in the back in here so uh if you are using a potentiometer like that for this kind of drive 
uh, the one is going to go into the into four, uh, two is going to go into two, and one is going to go into three. Oh no, sorry, one. Sort of a uh, other way around everything. So other than that, uh, let's check it out how that works. And oh yeah, and to go between local and re remote, as remember, hold the off button until ready has been displayed. And a uh, first we're going to do is uh, select to run the drive. Oh, other way around. Run the drive in uh, to our control. And where's my potential? Where's my potential? And with the potentiometer. I remember it does uh, free, it, it does uh, in percentages. You can change it to frequency, but I like this way. So uh, there we go. And obviously the directional, you can select. Directly it will slow down and then go opposite opposite way, and then you can do that. But when you are in this mode, at least with this e-stop, you have a quicker way of disconnecting. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is, it is the best way, but it is. The quickest, at the, the quickest you can get. So you are definitely advised to follow uh, that kind of system if you don't have any trip system in, in, into your drive to trip your drive out for the safety purposes. You never know what's going to happen, so try to stick to safety and be compliant. Uh, other than that, uh, that will be it for the two wire control, so let's go on to three wire control. And as for the three wire control, we have all wired up and ready to go and we have a little bit different uh, station this time and it looks like that. So uh, the one we go in there is an e-stop, stop button, start button, select the switch it will be used for a uh, selecting the direction on and we throw in the jog button as well. And when it comes down to wiring, as don't forget we still have our Ooh. potentiometer and again the same application we're using again what we did for two wire control same one in here it's just we are following different wiring type in here in here where you are linking the, the 10 with the 7 which pretty much latches the cable in well, not cable the uh, number the start button in so uh, in the regard we got what that looks in the wiring so uh, the wiring here we go we got e-stop button in here where it gets the number uh, terminal number six sending power to east of here from the e-stop it goes to the uh, the stop button where from stop button uh, the one to uh, point of the cable goes to the start beginning of the input of the start and the uh, other cable goes to the terminal 10 that's the one that's actually going to be latching it in and the next one from there on from start button obviously goes back to uh, seven and uh, from there on, uh, the power cable again from the start of the start button goes to the next uh, normally close contact, which is for our uh, a, uh, directional control, which goes to a 0.8. And the jog button obviously receives the cable as well, the power as well from the stop button, which goes to a jog button. And regarding when it comes down to jog, I'll quickly show you where you can adjust your jog reference. The jog reference will be in parameter 8 and in here it shows this is in 10%. 10% is the 10% of the speed rather than the 10, uh, 10 hertz. And the way it works is quite straightforward. We've got a uh, start, we, we click the start button, drive is on its way. You still have uh, the potentiometer in here. You can uh, use for it. And uh, by, by pressing the stop, you can uh, uh, make a selection of your uh, direction. There we go, and as you can see, now you can see this as a minus sign, it goes in the opposite direction. Quite straightforward, nice, beautiful station. You can build for any machine you want. And once you take your directional off, when it goes and it goes uh, stops, and it goes the opposite way. And when it comes down to jog, just hold it, and it will jog as much as you wish so uh, that ladies and gentlemen will be it for three wire and two wire control also with potentiometer we didn't have much of a chance to use that there's outputs as well you can use for different types of monitoring for trips and things like that that can be, I think believe that can be a uh, programmed as well uh, inputs and outputs can be programmed but why would you because those applications that uh, 
uh, Parker has done are really dead on pretty even with the bloody pictures as you can see in here it looks like I don't know what we running in there we run something and uh, all those applications pretty much what I'm doing with all the drives with the most common applications and, and, and uh, they definitely nailed that one so uh, other than that Lin Jim, I hope that all this is making sense to you and uh, getting you where you want to get and you are well on your way to achieving your desired control uh, if, uh, this is, will be it for me and uh, if you like the video please smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike comment below uh, ask me any questions if you wish and I will answer them as soon as possible in the next video we're going to be looking at how to uh, set up the multi frequency and that um, mop control with the two button frequency controls so uh, uh other than that thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video